In this hot afternoon, I'm going to show you how I am able to raise catfish from the stocking of the fingerlings to the harvesting of the matured fish without changing the water. You would be surprised, but this is very possible. So if you have a limited water supply in your farm, this video is made for you. Or even if you have enough water, but you want to save yourself from the energy and the cost of constant changing the water, then this video is also made for you. I'm going to show you in the video practically how I'm able to raise the fish from the stocking of the fingerling till harvesting of the fish in six months time without changing the water. This, you may even ask, ah, why didn't you sort the fish? Because we all know that if you're going to sort fish, you have to drain the water to the minimum level or just drain the water out. And then you can be able to see the big ones and the small ones and you can make the separation successful and then have the bigger one in one point and the smaller one at another point. That's the sorting. And that means that if I said I am able to do this, you may be wondering whether I have done the sorting or not. And the answer is, yes, I have done the sorting. But there's a, a little trick here, which I am going to show you how I was able to do all this, including the sorting throughout the period of the production without changing the water. Please, if you are new to the channel, or if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because this channel is mainly for sharing of fish farming tips. So if you are intending to grow fish or you are already a seasonal fish farmer, then subscribe to the channel and let's share ideas together. If I said I am able to raise the fish from the stocking till harvesting without changing the water, this is made possible because of two important systems. One is the recirculated aquatic system. This system that is working, we simply call it RAS. The recirculated aquatic system filters the insoluble particles such as the waste of the uneaten feet and the feces of the fish and then remove those insoluble particles and take the water back into the pond. And this continues 24 7. And that means that if there's any dirt in the pond, this system is taking care of the dirt. And that will keep the water to always be clean and free from toxic. Because such waste, that is the insoluble particles, such as the uneaten feet and the feces, those wastes are dissolved in the water and then causes high ammonia and reduce the oxygen level so if these things are able to be removed from the fish pond it means that the water will be free from contaminations and that brings us to the other system which makes this raising of fish without changing water possible and that's the aeration system i've mentioned that the uneaten feet and the waste are what causes high ammonia and reduction of oxygen the aeration system is also made to complement the natural oxygen in the fish pond so this system is pushing up bubbles that is pulling air from the outside and pushing it through the pond and then adding more oxygen in the fish pond and that means that the fish will always have enough oxygen to enjoy so this system does not only add oxygen to the pond, but it also makes the water to circulate. And the water is moving. And it is not stuck at one place. So as the water is moving, it is also removing the ammonia and other chemicals. Pushing it down to the bed filter. And the bed filter will also collect those feces and bring it to the recycled aquatic system. And that's the sedimentation 
uh, container like this and that also filters the insulin particles and take the clean water back. So these two systems, aeration system and circuit aqua system are what made me possible to be able to produce the fish from the stocking we are harvesting. Now let's come to how I was able to do the sorting without changing the water. And not only even during sorting, I could not also sell my fish once. So any time that a customer was to buy fish and the person needed more but would not be able to buy all, there's a way I use that same trick to take out the water, sell for the customer and bring back the water in the pond. And this is it. These are two ponds. Both were stuck with fish. Now, as the production cycle was ongoing, and then this was empty. So when I need to do anything in this pond, the fish that are there, and I need to get the water out, I will simply drain the water from this pond to this pond. As you can see, I'll use the ins I'll use the submersible pump. That is also the Irish steam pump. That is on the oxygen to the water. I will use that same pump, connect the water hose, take this water into this pond, do my sorting, or do whatever I'm going to do, and then take the water back to the pond again with that same water pump. And it's as easy as that. But take note, before you are able to do this, make sure that the water is free from contamination. If the water is healthy and there's no contamination, then you can keep changing the water that way. But in the process of the production, you notice that the water parameters are not good. For instance, the ammonia level, the pH level, the nitrogen level, all these are good for the fish pond or the fish, but, but excessive of them are also dangerous. So when you notice that these things are excessive, then you change the water. So if I'm able to do this, that doesn't mean that when you start, you can also do that same cycle. Because this pond, I couldn't do the same to that pond. It got to a time that the water parameters were not good. The oxygen level reduced and I changed the water. But that notwithstanding, whether you are able to change the water or not, if you have these two systems, you are good to go and you can have this successful and run your system. But you may also be wondering, how will I be able to test, to know that the water parameters are the same or are good? We have test kits. We have the water test kit where you can use to test those parameters. I will leave the test kit link. You can check it out in the description. Get it one and it will help you. But even if we, you don't have that, you can observe the color of the fish water and the behavior of the fish to be able to tell whether the water is conducive for them or not. And that will tell you or give you the go ahead to keep that same water. Now, what you should also note is that if you are using these systems, it doesn't mean that the water will just be clear and continue to be colorless. No. After stocking the fish, because the fish are defecating in there and they are eating, definitely the color of the water is going to change. It's going to be green or possible reflect the color of the feed that you are giving them. But mostly it's going to be green because of their feces. Such greenness, there's no problem with that. Especially if it is not thick and smelly. And that is when you're using this system. It is taking the insoluble feces. But because some are able to dissolve in there, the water color will change. But it will still be good for the fish. Very healthy for them. So what you notice is that the fish are not been suffering because of lack of oxygen. Then keep that same water and you can use it through your production cycle. Now, if you have been inspired and then 
you will also want to have similar or the same system set up in your farm to reduce the energy of changing the water and to also help you if you don't have enough water in your farm or to reduce the cost of buying water to always fill up your fish pond. Then contact us, they will set up this system for you, these two systems together at affordable price. We then buy the materials locally, make it for you, then you are good to go. Then you can make maximum use of your fish water. But note, this is not only able to let you produce without changing the water, but it also ensures that your fish grow very well. How? Yes, because since the feeds are removed, oxygen is being added, the fish is going to be healthy. And once they are healthy, their food conversion ratio is going to be high. And once their food conversion ratio is high, they will eat very well and they will grow very well because they are healthy, they eat well, what is left with growing. So this system will also help you to grow your fish bigger. So don't forget to install one in your system. And then you will thank me later. Please, if you have found value in this video, kindly subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification button. Like and share the video. And let it reach more fish farmers. We are going to be sharing more tips. And don't forget to watch the next video in the end screen. I will see you in my next video.